What and where are the most expensive homes in the U.S.? Some of them have so many zeros in the price, it makes me dizzy. Number one, Billionaire House. The 38,000 square foot palace developed by Bruce Makowski features 12 bedrooms, 21 bathrooms, 17,000 square feet of outdoor deck space, five bars, three kitchens, an 85 foot infinity pool, and a swim up bar. The previous home that was on this lot was owned by Judy Garland until 1967. The home comes furnished and includes over 100 rare and expensive works of art and a $30 million car collection. Come and go easily with your own helipad, but who would want to leave with a 270 degree view? You enjoy the beauty of the LA skyline, ocean, and mountains. The ultimate home entertainment system features a 22 foot screen with 7,000 preloaded movies, a 4K projector, 57 speakers, 16 subwoofers, and 40 reclining leather seats for guests. Originally listed in 2017 for a record $250 million, the price was reduced several times and reportedly sold for around $100 million in 2019. Number 2. The Manor at Holmby Hills The French Chateau-style manor boasts 56,500 square feet, 14 bedrooms, and 27 baths. Enough space and rooms to entertain overnight guests without even knowing they're there. Also known as the Spelling Mansion, the manor is larger than the White House and comes with plenty of amenities, including a full-size tennis court, pool, formal entrance, and decadent double stair and to the top floor. The manor was built in 1988 by James Mannheim and Associates for Aaron Spelling and renovated in 2012 after being purchased by Formula One racing heiress Petra Ecclestone. Listed for $175 million in 2018, the property sold for just under $120 million in 2019 and was listed again in February of 2022 for $165 million. Number 3. Manalapan Mega Mansion The property has multiple homes and other buildings totaling 85,000 square feet of living space, 33 bedrooms, 34 bathrooms, and 13 half baths. The property features 1,200 feet of frontage on the Atlantic Ocean and 1,300 feet on the intercoastal waterway. The land includes a PGA quality golf practice area, a tennis court, a half basketball court, a pool, and more than 1,500 species in the botanical garden, as well as a bird sanctuary, butterfly garden, and of course, multiple docks. Ocean Boulevard divides the property in half, but that's no problem because a fully furnished underground tunnel system connects various parts of the property. Listed in 2016 for $195 million and, after several price reductions, sold in 2021 for $94.2 million to Netscape co-founder Jim Clark. It was an impulse purchase for Clark and his wife, who later decided to not make it their full-time residence and instead sold it to their billionaire buddy Larry Ellison, the founder of Oracle, for $100 73 million in June of 2022. Number 4. Great Island. This 63 acre estate offers natural surroundings with wildlife at your back door. Yet you're just an hour's drive from Manhattan, but a world away on the largest private island estate on the East Coast. Great Island has been in the same family since 1905 when it was purchased by industrialist and baking pounder magnate William Ziegler. The main house is a stone facade with nine bedrooms and ten baths, but there are many other homes and structures on the property, including the original eight. 1850s home, a gatehouse, a caretaker's house, and a granite 18 stall stable. The property also features a gated drive, myriads of flora and fauna, a boathouse, beach, cottages, and an extensive well sheltered harbor with a private deep water dock suitable for yachts up to 100 feet. The estate first went on the market in 2016 for $175 million. The asking price was reduced twice, and in early 2022, the family that owns the property accepted a $103 million offer made by the the town of Darien, which plans to make Great Island available to the community. Number 5. Briar Patch this waterfront estate sits on 11.2 acres and hit the market in November of 2014 at an asking price of $140 million. It features five structures with a total of nearly 14,000 square feet of living space and over 1,000 feet of water frontage. In addition to the 10,000 square foot main residence built in 1931, Briar Patch includes a four-bedroom guest house, a pool cabana, and tennis court, among other amenities. This estate is on the National Register of Historic Places and has had just three owners in its near-century-long existence. The asking price was dropped to $95 million in 2021, but was forced to be sold at auction in 2022 due to the indebtedness of the owner. Number 6. Il Palmetto Originally built in the 1930s, this Italian Renaissance-style home boasts over 40,000 square feet of living space with waterfront on two sides. The estate features 10 bedrooms, 14 baths, and a private tunnel to the beachside pool house. 
A dramatic two-story entrance hall leads to gorgeous pavilion-style rooms with 16th-century carved ceilings in the dining room and shield ceilings in the living room. The Infinity Edge swimming pool is timed to match the hue of the Atlantic Ocean. Beach access is protected by a seawall with stairs. On the property's other coast, you'll find the boathouse with two motorized boat launches. Il Palmetto went on the market in 2018 for $137 million. The owner, Jim Clark, sold the estate to Catherine and Leo Vecellio the same year, but the actual sale price is unclear because it was part of a complex transaction that may have included the exchange of another property. Number 7. Rancho San Carlos This colonial manor designed by Reginald Johnson was built in 1931 and remained in the same family for nearly a century. Entry. The main residence features nearly 30,000 square feet of living space, including 12 bedrooms and 13 bathrooms. The central courtyard is surrounded by the formal living rooms, while the master wing and family wing extend from the high terrace with exquisite views of the mountains and ocean. The 237-acre estate includes impressive equestrian facilities and 100 acres of avocado and citrus groves, along with 10 additional residential cottages and a small office building. The property was listed in 2014 for $125 million. After six years and several price reductions, the property sold in 2020 for just over $63 million. Number 8. Las Vadas and Edwards Ranches This estate offers plenty of room to Rome, over 1,800 sprawling acres on the beautiful Southern California coast. Over 500 acres lie on the ocean side of the highway, with two miles of ocean front, while the other 1,300 acres spread north toward the hills. The entire property, including 160 acres of lemon and avocado orchards, can be surveyed from the 18-acre private lake. The main home is a 10-bedroom, 10-and-a-half-bath hacienda. Five other homes are located on the estate, including a turn-of-the-century Victorian. After the heirs failed to obtain approval to subdivide the property in 2015, it was listed for sale for $108 million in 2016. After several price adjustments over the next few years, the property was purchased by Berkshire Hathaway Vice Chairman Charles Munger for a reported $70 million and donated to the University of California, Santa Barbara in 2019. Number 9. The Duplex at 834 Fifth Avenue this lavish lair is comprised of the 7th and 8th floors in the highly sought-after co-op building at 834 Fifth Avenue, which has been home to celebrities and business titans going back to the early 1930s when it was built. There's over 12,000 square feet of living space, making it the largest of the 24 apartments in the building. The seven-bedroom, seven-bathroom duplex apartment features beautiful views of Central Park, 17th-century leather walls in the lower library, a wine cellar, gallery, four staff rooms, and two storage units. In 2016, the asking price was $120 million. That price dropped several times until it was sold for $53 million in 2019. Number 10. Pumpkin Key This estate is a 26-acre private island in the Florida Keys featuring a main home with three bedrooms, two caretaker cottages, a dock master's apartment and office, and a shore home with three bedrooms. The 20-slip marina is capable of accommodating a mega yacht but you'll probably want a smaller boat to make the three-minute trip to shore for accommodations. A paved golf cart path circles the island, making it easy to get around. The island has been divided into 12 one-acre lots if the new owner chooses to build the island into a very small neighborhood. Electric, water, and fiber optics are already in place on the island. The tennis courts in the center of the island also serves as a helipad, which is handy since Miami's South Beach is just 10 miles away by helicopter. An airstrip for private jets is available at the nearby Ocean Reef Club. At just $95 million, this private island paradise is a bargain. I'm sure you'll want to stop watching now because you plan to call the listing agent right away and buy this property. Before you do that, please consider tapping the subscribe button so you're sure to see more videos of interesting people, places, and things. Don't worry, all of these homes have internet access so you'll be able to see our videos from any one of them.